Uh, this winter has been an experience as we have had absolutely no heating whatsoever which um, at times has made me question my sanity I don't care if I have to rob a bank the next winter I go through I will most definitely be having a diesel heater um, it's not only about being warm on the boat it's the hardest bit is actually moving the boat in the cold weather so maybe we can get a spray hood made up this year but it's certainly been an experience and um, it was surprisingly more fun. It was more good than bad anyway. Anyway, the dogs just managed to throw up all over the bunk, which is a bit of a nightmare, but it could be worse. I, uh, since I've been on the broads, I've been, I've got back into smoking tobacco and uh, been drinking a bit too much, to be fair. It's easily done on the boat because every time you moor up next to somebody, they usually, first thing they do is offer you a beer. And obviously a beer always turns into beers. So I'm going to have to go on a health mission now and get myself uh, in shape. Uh, as I say, the weather is still pretty hectic. As far as the heating goes, uh, if you had an electric booth, then fine, you can put on a convection heater or something, but they do cane the power. And um, as I'm down the South Broads at the moment, there isn't any electric points apart from the yacht stations. You know, it's things like this that piss me off because... The tax is due at the end of the end of this month, and I think to myself, what on earth am I paying for? There's no hoses, there's no electric points, and uh, you know, you just pay that money for somebody to come along and moan at you when you stay on the morning too long. So it would be nice to see a lot more facilities, and it would be nice to see the broads brought into the 21st century, really. You know, I think if any, anywhere else in the world, you'd, you'd pour all up at moorings and there'd be showers and a whole number of facilities. I don't see why you should have to keep going to yacht stations and paying £15 a night for the privilege of mooring up. It's, uh, the tax is a lot and uh, there should be a lot more facilities. I'm in Beckles now and I think to myself, all the way down from Horning, there was maybe one, two, three electric points, and once you get past Ludham, there is no hoses anywhere. And there's no shops, so what do you do? You know, it's ridiculous. So, I think the broad certainly could be improved, and it should have a lot more facilities. There's no doubt about it. But, uh, we're looking forward to moving soon. I've actually been down here for two months now, which is a very long time. Um, but it's just simply been too cold to move the boat. It's uh, when I came in here two months ago at the end of the year, <coughs> I was actually hypothermic when I arrived.